Alpha Network, welcome back. We are talking about doing online ministry today. So I am joined by some of the Life Church online team, Austin Taylor. He oversees all of the training and the development for all of the volunteers who help us run Church Online here at the church. And Raphael Abreu, he is the host team pastor for Church Online. Welcome guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Good to be here. Well, we've been talking already today about doing online ministry. So there's some more videos on this page if you want to go watch those and just see all about volunteers and about the bigger vision of doing online ministry. But we're going to do something kind of fun right now and we're going to answer most common questions about online ministry. So probably maybe the most common Austin is if I'm thinking about doing online ministry, I haven't started it yet, what are like the big things I need to know? Yeah, so I've talked with a lot of pastors, maybe just like you, who are considering launching church online, or maybe they're just in the very first stages of getting their online ministry getting up and running. Wet. Yeah, yeah. And the three sort of themes that I hear a lot mm -hmm. are these three things. So the first one is, um, don't feel like you need to be a tech expert yeah. in order to do church online. You may or may not be the IT person at your church. Um, you could maybe wear multiple hats at your church, as a lot of church online pastors do. But the cool thing is that this tool, the church online platform, has been designed to make it as easy as possible for somebody who's not a technical expert. I mean, I'm not. Um, no, you're not. I'm definitely not. <laughs> Y'all don't want me making your websites. Um, to, to use this tool and it's very easy to set up, it's very easy to customize. Mm -hmm. So just don't feel intimidated by the fact that it is technology um, because there's so many resources. Your team is amazing at helping people get started. So um, that would be the first one is just get started and- You can do it. You can do it, yeah. we believe in you, yeah. Um, the second one would be from day one, leverage the power of volunteers. I mean, this is probably the most important lesson we've learned through our time with the church online team is that the, the explosive growth we've seen in our ministry over the past decade is directly related to empowering volunteers to do this ministry. Volunteers as opposed to all being staff run. Right, right. right. Yeah, yeah, I remember a couple of years ago, a girl was on the church online team, Dana, yeah. and she yeah. mentioned that she really had kind of a wake up moment. She realized she was trying as a staff member to hold on yeah to exactly. too much yeah. in online ministry and that once she relinquished it to volunteers, it started yeah. to grow. Yeah. yeah. And, and frankly, some of your volunteers can do this better than you can. <laughs> there, mm -hmm. there are people in your church that are incredible prayer, warrior, prayer warriors online. They're really amazing chat people. hosts. It's their place to yeah. serve. It's mm -hmm. what God's created them to do. And unfortunately, we've seen some churches that sort of hit a lid and we can figure out, kind of put our finger on it and realize that it's because they're trying to do everything themselves. So mm -hmm. our encouragement to you, man, give away as much as you can, empower your volunteers, uh, because there are people in your church that God has created to do this ministry. And then finally, the third thing would be, if you are trying to decide if your church will do church online and have an online ministry mm -hmm. presence, and you're about to communicate the vision of church online, maybe to your church or to new volunteers that you've recruited, or maybe or even, even, the even your senior yeah. pastor for sure. Um, really think through what's the vision that I'm trying to communicate about church online to these people, because you really only get to create that first impression one time, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so for instance, an example could be, you, you could pitch this to your senior pastor as, man, there's this awesome new thing that we can do. It's so cool. It uses technology. Um, lots of people are going to come to church online. They may not come to your church, but um, it's just going to be awesome. That's a, that doesn't really tell them much, to yeah, be honest. Really and they're probably thinking, this sounds risky. It sounds like... It sounds expensive. It sounds expensive. It sounds like it's going to take physical people away from our church. Right, Yeah. right. So what would the better way <laughs> of describing it be? Yeah. Um, Another trap really quick that you could yeah. you could fall into would be talking about church online as just a convenience tool for your church yeah. as it is, yeah. which if that's your vision for what you want church online to be, that's okay. But if it's not, make sure that that's not the vision that you share. So instead, what we would recommend is talk about how this tool can be used to reach people that are not being reached at the moment. Yeah. And it's a way for you to get to go to countries you're probably never going to reach as a church. Physically, physically as a church, yeah. yeah you get to connect and build relationships with people, you will see people come to Christ through this tool. Um, there are very tangible benefits even um, in terms of giving and, yeah. and volunteers and opportunities for ministry and small groups and all kinds of things. So 
think through the vision that you really want to communicate um, and have that elevator pitch ready because people are going to be curious. They're going to want to know what is this whole church online thing. That's, that's a, a really good leadership principle for whatever it is that you're trying yeah. to kind of send up the ladder. Yeah. Like, don't just say why you're excited about it, mm -hmm. but really show how it's going to benefit the church, how it's going to benefit attenders, um, future attenders, potential attenders, how it's going to benefit your pastor. Yeah, yeah that's a great tip. So that's good. I know I've mentioned before we use Church Online Platform. That's a tool that Life Church built to facilitate doing online ministry. So what is your favorite part of the tool? I know you're in it all the time. Um, could I say all of it? <laughs> no, no, no. All right. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> well, if I were to narrow it down, I really love how through the direct chat you can initiate those personal conversations yeah. with people. Um, and through life prayer as well, mm -hmm. either either one of they those function tools. function similarly, right? Yeah, very you can similar. Talk one -on -one with someone. And I just absolutely love that it auto detects your language and it translates that chat yeah. up for you because I've been able to meet and, and just interact with people from all over the world. Yeah. And talk and, about that a little bit because it's yeah. something it's kind of easy to overlook. It's right. but it's such a cool thing that the platform does. So I know that Google Translate is integrated right into the platform. So how, how does it actually appear for you? Mm -hmm. Say you're talking to someone in Argentina. Yeah. So I speak English and Spanish and mm -hmm. I put this thing to the test mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and it will. Um, I've tried, uh, you know, just typing in Spanish yeah. and just seeing if it would change the chat into Spanish and it did. Wow. And the whole chat room became Spanish. And so our, our English speaking volunteers would type in English, but it would come up across to me in Espanol. Whoa. And then it was like, how do I change this back? How do I change? And so, I, so I went to the auto or to the Spanish, changed it to auto, started typing in English and the whole chat room turned into English. And so you can, in one chat room, you can have one person typing in Russian, another person typing in wow. Spanish, another person typing in English, and nobody knows any different. Yeah. The is communication crazy. is amazing. That is crazy. And that happens in the direct chat too, It happens in right? direct cha chat, any in kind public of chat. chat, yeah. And host chat? and host chat. Yeah, yeah. that is awesome. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Um, one of my favorite features about Life Prayer as well is that in a face-to-face -face setting um, as a pastor, you may sometimes have to take weeks to sort of get to the root of what someone's struggling with. Man, I'm telling you, with Church Online, it's, it's right away. It's quick. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to get into a conversation with somebody, and because they know that mm -hmm. it's as anonymous as they yeah. want it to be, they're going to let you know right away if they're struggling with um, a crisis of faith or with an addiction or with a marriage issue. Yeah. And you get a chance right then and there to step into that ministry opportunity and lead them. So it just, yeah. I mean, it, in a practical way, it saves a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never thought of it like that before because you're right. Yeah. It might take an attender coming to church physically mm -hmm. a lot before yeah. they get plugged yeah. in. Maybe they start talking yeah. to a pastor or to someone else who goes to church. Mm -hmm. But yeah, people online, they're ready to say, here's where I'm yeah. at. Yeah. And then you can just pray or talk yeah. with them. Mm -hmm. That yeah. is very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so say that a church does say, yes, I wanna do online ministry and they start doing it. How, how are they supposed to know what success looks like mm -hmm. if, if that online ministry is working? Yeah. So I can tell you what our team okay. um, tracks in terms of how we know what we're doing is being effective. You're moving the needle. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. So each member of our team, our staff team, has of course individual things that we're tracking depending on our area. Mm -hmm. But collectively as a team, we have four main team goals every year um, that let us know what we're doing is making an impact. So the first one is probably the most obvious and that's attendance. Mm -hmm. So are we reaching more people? Are we reaching new people? Yeah. Are we reaching countries that we wouldn't be able to reach otherwise? Yeah. The second thing would be contacts. Mm -hmm. And what we mean by contacts is somebody that we have an email address for. Okay. So this would be um, sort of the next step for somebody who's been attending for a while is give us a chance to connect with you. Yeah. And email is just the most mm -hmm. ubiquitous way, the easiest way for us to get in touch with people all over the world. So we're looking at how many new contacts are we getting per week? Mm -hmm. How are we inspiring people to want to hear from us and to want to build a relationship um, with the church? So I really do love that. Just through getting someone's email contact information, we can actually continue to have a relationship with them all yeah. throughout the week right. or try to re-engage them maybe if they yeah. stopped attending. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah. so what is the next thing that we track? 
So we've got attendance, contacts, and then our third key team metric is giving. Mm -hmm. So just like at a physical church location, giving is something that Tithing, we track. offering. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For sure. And we're looking specifically at giving to church online. So it's not even really to Life Church as a whole or to one of our locations, but directly to support this ministry and help it reach more people every week. Mm -hmm. And what we found is that um, it may not happen right away or very quickly. Right, um, when you start. When you get started, yeah, yeah, it's it's a slow process. It takes some time um, because the idea of church online is new to some people. Um, but we know for sure um, through our experience that as people become faithful attendees, they also become faithful givers. Yeah. And that's an amazing thing to get to provide that opportunity for somebody to give back to the ministry that has impacted yeah. their life. Yeah. And then the fourth one is volunteers, of course. So we've talked about um, yeah. volunteers, yeah. And we want to know, are we helping people find their place, find their best fit on our team to play a part in what's happening? Um, in Life Church terms, we would say, are we helping people take the step from becoming a spiritual contributor, or sorry, spiritual consumer mm -hmm. to becoming a spiritual contributor and being a part of what God's doing here? Yeah, it's so neat that this didn't exist, you know, 10, 12 years ago, yeah, and now there yeah. is an entirely new way for people yeah. to serve and plug in and an entirely new way to reach the people that no one is reaching. Mm -hmm. Man, thank you guys so much. Do you have any final thoughts about doing online ministry? You know, because you, you, you probably you've been serving in the church, but you haven't always done online ministry. What What is making it so special for you? I just think the, the opportunity um, that we have now and where we're at, you know, um, this amazing tool that we've been given yeah. that that can reach the world, I still kind of pinch myself mm -hmm. and I'm in awe. Um, and what really just brings it home for me are when people come to Christ, do church online, and then you hear the stories of life change. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's we, we're seeing that on a consistent basis. And it's it, to me, it's just amazing. Yeah. yeah, people who wouldn't necessarily have heard about Jesus yeah. without it. Right. Yeah, without you guys being there and serving and your volunteers being there and praying with people. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I love that. That's and that is the heart of it. It gets it gets all of us stirred up a little bit when we think about it because the technology side of it is cool. It allows us to do it, but it is about the changed lives. Mm -hmm. And thank you guys so much. Life Church Open Network pastors and church leaders, thank you for spending some time today hearing about how we do online ministry. If you have any more questions for these guys or our team about how Life Church does online ministry, you can leave those questions in the community. You can find that section on this page. And if you are ready to dive in and start doing online ministry in your own church, you can find the free tool. It's free from Life Church. We just want you to have it and do online ministry. You can find it on the apps tab of this website, or you can go to church onlineplatform.com. So thank you again for visiting with us. And we hope that when you do online ministry, that you see the passion and the excitement that we all feel reaching people for Christ around the world. <laughs>